going on guys let's do this problem right here the first question is asking an electron is initially moving to the right when it enters a uniform electric field directed upwards which trajectory shown below will the electron follow so we have the trajectory y and trajectory z and let's see which one it follows so before we do this question we have to know a fact that uh, whenever we have a negative charge in an electric field if it is uh, entering a, uh, entering an electric field the electric force is going to be directed to opposite to the direction of the field so so electric so it, it will experience a force opposite to the direction of the electric field so here here they have mentioned that uh, electric field is direct upwards right so the electrons when the electron center is going to feel the force opposite to that direction so it means it's going to experience the force downwards therefore the electric um, the electron will go in the down direction so that's going to be trajectory c right here trajectory y is upward trajectory trajectory c downwards so the answer for this one is trajectory 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 c Let's try a trajectory trajectory Z. So that's the answer for this question. Right? Let's look at the another question that is asking an atomic nucleus has a charge of 40 electron. What is the magnitude of the electric field at a distance from distance of uh, one meter from the center of nucleus? So to find the electric field we use this equation that's E is equal to k q over r square so we have r and the q so we can directly find it so k is basically 9 times 10 to the power of 9 newton meter square per coulomb square times q they have provided 40 electron so 40 times 1 electron so 1 electron is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb so here we have 40 electrons so we have to multiply this 40 by this one electron so this is going to be 1.6 times 40 times 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb over r square so r is the distance that's basically one meter square and that's going to give us the the final electric field value and if you calculate this one you will get 5.76 times 10 to the power of minus 8 newton per coulomb and that is the answer for this question. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.